Welcome back. Joining us virtually today is Daphne Olivier, the unconventional dietitian. Daphne, thank you so much for being here with us today. Of course, thank you for having me. Of course. So today's topic, we are talking all about fiber. Daphne, why is fiber so important? So fiber is one of these things that in the nutrition world we've been talking about forever. Primarily the idea around fiber is that it helps you to use the bathroom, which is true, but lots of other things that are important about fiber. So just some kind of quick notes. Fiber is only found in plant foods, mm -hmm. so that's something to know. Um, so if you're doing something that is very high um, animal-based foods, then you're probably not getting enough fiber. But the important things to know about fiber is that it can bind to cholesterol in your GI tract and pull cholesterol out of your body. Hmm. So um, cholesterol, estrogen is another thing that's important. So if you have a lot of, a lot of women have what's called estrogen dominant, yeah. And fiber is helpful to bind to estrogen to pull it out of your system so that whenever you're remaking estrogen, it's not you're not getting too much. Um, and then also blood sugar control. So fiber is really, really important for blood sugar control. So aside from just going to the bathroom, cholesterol, estrogen, and blood sugar are all really important, uh, important things that fiber can be useful for. Absolutely. So when you're talking about cholesterol and estrogen, how does one know if they need to consume more fiber to regulate that type of thing? Well, generally speaking, the American population is getting only about half of the fiber that they need. So wow. I think it's pretty safe to say that most people can increase fiber consumption. Um, but the best ways to do it, so ideally there are lots of different, you know, we could talk about fiber for hours, yeah. um, although I find it interesting, maybe not everyone else would, but some real simple ways to increase fiber if you have high cholesterol or if you're on a cholesterol lowering medication, that's an indicator that we can use fiber. Um, beans are the number one plant um, plant food based way to increase fiber so mm -hmm. whether it's red beans or black eyed peas or lentils um beans are a great way to increase fiber you don't need a lot just about a handful size about a half of a cup mm -hmm. um also nuts and seeds so everything from almonds pistachios pumpkin seeds which are uh you know it's time of the year for pumpkin seeds <laughs> Um, and chia seeds. Oh, so perfect. if you've ever used chia seeds, the way that they gel um, and the way that they create like a pudding flavor it, or a pudding texture yeah. is um, because of the fiber. Oh, so wow. chia seeds are great, they're sticky. And so that's an indicator that it's pulling things out of your system that your body doesn't necessarily need there. I love this. This is a great, great information that you shared with our viewers today. Daphne, thank you so much for joining us to talk about fiber with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me again. Of course. If you at home want to learn more, head to our website, klaf.com. If you have a health question, you can head there as well. Post a link on how you can ask Daphne yourself. Stay with us, though. We'll be right back after this break.